Hey, what's up? It's Mike Gobby with Mike Gobby Said Bangers. I'm sitting with Matt Brunson on the bus, Crowbar's bus. We're just kind of hanging out, and uh, you guys are going on in about just a little under an hour, and I'm pretty excited because I don't think, as long as I've been in the heavy metal, I've ever seen Crowbar live, really? which is very weird right. for me. It's going to be a hell of a show. Right? So. Well, we just had a mothership out there. I caught a little bit of uh, them, and then, of course, Corrosion and Conformity. I've seen, I've seen them three or four times. Great. And this is a really cool tour because you guys are all kind of that same genre, that, that same sound, but your own identity. Right, Which, by right. the way, I want to bring up, do you, do you like the term sludge metal? Well, I mean, we don't really think about it like that. It's just, for us, it's, it's, it's a term somebody else came up with to try to describe us. But if you ask any of us in a band, we're a heavy metal band. Heavy metal. You know, we love heavy metal, and it's kind of where all the roots come from. It's just our own interpretation, you know, what we like to hear. It's well, it's definitely a distinct sound. It's just funny how there's all these sub-genres now. Right, right. Doom metal, sludge metal, heavy metal, thrash, speed, and then you get into all this crazy stuff. Uh, the, you know, the new metal came around. It's right, like hard right. rocker, it's metal. Yeah, and that's yeah. how we think about Good. it. Good, so all many, right. So many different styles and all that stuff. Well, that was the West Coast. All right, so anyway. <laughs> that's what happens when you're on the bus, right? People come and go. So we talk about just, it's, it's heavy metal, and obviously you guys are probably, you know, influenced by Black Sabbath back in the day. You know? Oh, absolutely. Because, oh, here's another one for you. Stoner Rock. Right? Right, right. I so, mean, we got, uh, the funny thing about that is we get, we get kind of like in that same, uh, I would say, I guess, you know, we get included in the Stoner Rock thing, but we don't really sound like a Stoner Rock band. Just that at all. That riffy kind of. Yeah, I mean, we have, you know, a lot of, we're known for like the, the, the lower tempo stuff. We got yeah. tempo stuff, all kinds of, you know. It's like Jimmy's Chicken Jack or stuff like that. I mean, but anyway, back to what we were getting at. It's Crowbar is here tonight. We are at uh, Crescent Ballroom, and it's sold out. It's sold out. There are people out there waiting for tickets. They're asking me if I got tickets. I said, I'll talk to Matt. There we go. <laughs> I'll see if we can get you hooked up. So anyway, uh, mutual friend of ours, uh, Matt Berger, which, by the way, how long have you been in the band? I'm going to go back to about 11 years now. And they've been around like 29 years, uh, right? Well, actually, yeah, this or will be 30 years. 2019. 30, 30 year anniversary? Yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. That's great for longevity. I mean, it's, it's really cool when a band can keep it going that long. And you guys had had some good history with like Craig Newton Mocker on uh, drums and yeah. Rex Brown for a little bit on bass. Well, yeah, Rex played on, he played bass on Life's Blood for the Downtrod. And you guys being from New Orleans, New Orleans, yeah, Nola, New Orleans. Yeah. Nola. Yeah. Uh, I was just telling him, by the way, I work in New Orleans. We're not going to tell you where. Okay, well, Deja Vu and Hustle Club. You got to come in and listen to me work sometime, right? <laughs> if you visit those type of places. <laughs> not a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right. Uh, now I just lost my train of thought. I got ADHD. ADHD. I got ADHD, man. What can I say? So anyway, uh, oh, another cool thing. All right, are we, are we going to hear any killer covers tonight? Uh, no, no covers tonight. Can you play Dreamweaver? We can. Oh, that would be my request. Our drummer because... hates it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like it? I don't mind. Yeah, I don't it's mind. kind of cool. I think it's really it's cool. tough to pull off. You know, it's got all kinds of effects and all that kind of stuff. That is true. But, uh, yeah, one one day eventually, with enough persuasion, maybe. Uh, maybe I got money. <laughs> I got stacks. Maybe they tried. I don't know what I got that strip club money, man. There you go. No. <laughs> thing about Dreamweaver is my sister introduced me to that song and I saw the album cover and there's Gary Newman and uh, or, uh yeah right no yeah, yeah. Gary Wright I'm Gary Wright. Sorry, yeah, Gary, yeah. Wright. Gary Newman Gary Cars uh and he's got makeup on it's like why does this guy have makeup on trip me out because well, like the whole thing with the, the cover and you know like Kirk was saying like man the whole trick is uh why a lot of the crowbar does like some like weird cover songs it's like man there's no uh there's no challenge in making a heavy song heavy, you know. It's like that's the challenge true. is making something that's totally not heavy a heavy tune. So that's where the, the impetus for that came from, you know. Now you as a guitarist here, your influences? My main two influences, uh, Paul Gilbert and Alan Holdsworth. Wow. Yeah. Gilbert, both. Well, Holdsworth is, man, a lot of legato and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, real avant Yeah. Man, that guy. Paul Gilbert's like the king of picking. Racer X? Yep. Did you ever see him? Never was way was before my time, but <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, they but were, uh, I've got some. I got tons of bootleg videos of Racer X and live Dude, stuff. When so. he and Bruce Boulay or Boulay or whatever. 
whatever we trade they trade arms on each yeah, other's yeah, guitars yeah. crazy and stuff. stuff to all the tap and licks yeah. go see Razor I mean you can't go see him now go check out what he's talking about the boot licks because uh, Scott Travis yeah, yeah, Scott now, Scott Judas Priest, Priest. killer killer and Jeff Martin used to spend a lot of time up here in Phoenix with yeah. uh, Alfred yep all right, so let's get back to you. So your influence is Paul Gilbert and uh, Alan, Alan Oldsworth. I've seen them both. They're both amazing. Yep. Both amazing. Now, our mutual friend, Matt Berger, I call him the Motley Jew. Are you aware of that? No. Okay, it's the Motley Jew. Right. you got to call him that for now. I'll remember that for next time. Okay, the Motley Jew. He's been a buddy of mine, and I've turned him on to a lot of heavy metal. A lot. He'll, he'll try to tell you exactly. it's the other way around. Right. But when I said, do you like scorpions? He said, well, they look cool under a black light, but they scare me. When I said, do you like Saxon? He's like, no, I like uh, Kawasaki. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's turned me on to stuff. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> Come on, it was funny. Comedy with Crowbar. Um, he's turned me on to some stuff, and I've definitely turned him to, uh, on to a lot of stuff. But he's got a vape shop. It's the only heavy metal vape shop here in Phoenix. Have you been to the shop yet? I haven't been oh, yet. Oh, man, you got to see it. There's like a big pit, a ping of Eddie up on the wall and everything. It's great. And he made a... Uh, a juice yeah. for you. Yeah, Let's yeah. talk about it. Tell them. Well, it's it's called American Way, and it's a pineapple uh, vanilla soft serve flavor. They spent uh, a lot of time working on it. They, they did a really good job. So, well, he's yeah. got his guys that do a lot of, they, they do their own juice. Yeah, yeah. I understand. You know, it, it's really uh, a lot of a lot of effort put into it and a lot of care. So, well, he'll be really, proud to, to, to be able to do that. You know? He really, really has a passion what he does and I think that shows oh absolutely. absolutely and again being the only heavy metal vape shop probably done, the only one that I know of period he's done quite well for himself and as I was telling you before we started this I used to know him when he was slinging the stuff off of the back of his motorcycle he'd go meet people uh, wearing his backpack and he was slinging vape back right in the right so he wanted me to definitely pimp that and of course here we are so absolutely. where can they get that besides butt out they can order it online right right and uh you know, I'm, I sell it here at the show, so if you come out to a show, you can get it at the merch table. There you go. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah, if, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're at a crowbar show and you vape, you got to get Matt Brunson's, what's it called? The American, American Way. Way. And uh, if I vape, I would get Maybe I'll take a hit off of it. I don't normally yeah, do it, it but every now and then. And I love the smell. I love the yeah, smell. it smells awesome. So, it smells awesome. So. We'll definitely have to check that out. Speaking of merch, what you got out there tonight? All kinds of stuff. We got tour yeah. shirts. Uh, yeah, 30th anniversary, anniversary shirts. We haven't gotten those yet. But Still got coming. another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we got, got all our, year to do it. We got like exactly. 10, 11 months left. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we got hoodies, yeah, yeah, hats, beanies, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff in the first day. Now, when I busted in, busted in on your party, you were talking about the Saints' loss. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. Yeah, but we all agree. Still a deep wound. But Burger and myself are loyal Cardinals fans, and it can't get much worse than that. Right? You guys are having a rough one, so... Got a, I guess the silver lining, what is that, first pick? First pick well, the draft. And the fact that Larry Fitzgerald is, kind of like, is so loyal to the Cardinals. Yeah, it's rare these days. A lot of guys trying to chase a ring, trying to go for the you know, bigger, better deal. No, well, I know he wants one. one but yeah, 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 but that, no, it shows a lot of integrity. You know? There's a lot of people that could have gone. You know, we always say it about Drew Brees. He could go wherever he wants, you know. And, uh, but no, he stayed in New Orleans. You know? so, but yeah, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of integrity on Fitzgerald for that. Do you have any other teams or you just die hard? Oh, Saints, Saints all the way. That's it? All the way. I mean, put it this way. Pretty much, I mean, there's some AFC teams I don't mind. You know, you don't mind you tolerate them? Right, right. I don't mind seeing them. Like like Buffalo, for instance. Uh, they're an AFC team, so they don't really, they're not going to affect us unless we ever see them in a Super Bowl, which I don't know about that. But they're a blue-collar town. It's like New Orleans, man. They've, they've gone through it all. You know, tough losses, just like us. So I, I can relate to the Buffalo fans quite a bit. But uh, as far as any team in the NFC, absolutely not. <laughs> They're all the enemy. There you go. Now, you were there with all the crazy flooding and all that stuff. Were you Katrina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that affect you? Uh, I mean, you know, nobody really was prepared for it just because uh, it was one of those things. You know, we had been getting told the sky was falling for a long time. You know, but we hadn't had a serious hurricane since the 1960s. You know, so everybody, you know, they tell you, you know, get out of town, get out of town, and sometimes you, you do all this stuff and prepare, board your windows, whatever. And sometimes it wouldn't even rain. You know what I mean? They were just over over prepared for stuff. So 
this one was a little different because we were ready, uh, you know, the same thing. All right, you know, the sky's falling, yeah, yeah, but this, you know, then, boom. this time it really did, right. you know, so we weren't ready for it. But, uh, you know, just like anything else, you know, you just gotta Roll keep going, up. keep going. Luckily, I didn't, uh, you know, didn't lose, you know, lose my home or that's, anything like that. Okay, yeah, you know, that's like kind Tom, of what I was Tommy's, wondering. Tommy's parents, you know, their house was completely flooded in like 14 feet of water. Wow. Out in St. Bernard Parish. What's cool, you know, the only good thing that really comes out of this is how people come together to help out. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Shows there's still good people in America. But I'll tell you this, if you ever want to get out of there, come to Arizona because really nothing happens here. Right? You can hang out with Burger and make more vaping and we can make more juice, man. <laughs> but yeah, what do we worry about here? Oh, a monsoon or... Uh, it just gets a little dry. They call it the heat. Right. It's a dry heat, though. Yeah, so it's a blowtorch. It's still hot. It's really place. hot. You, if you want to know how hot, turn your oven on and just stick, stick your head, head in it. Yeah. It kind of feels like that. So oh, yeah. You really can, too. But anything else you want to mention? Oh, just stay tuned uh, this year. You know, new crowbar. Uh, we'll start working on that uh, in between tours and hopefully be starting to record by the end of the year uh, towards the fall. But yeah, uh, that's gonna, it's the ultimate goal. Uh, we've got some some tours coming up that uh, will be announced shortly. And uh, so we'll stay busy pretty much the whole year. And then, uh, you know, we'll into the studio towards the end of it. So, oh, so stay sorry. tuned. Well, so hey, Kurt, you want in on this for a second? What do we need? Man? Come, Come on, sit man. right here. I'll scoot over. I'm too fat though. Oh, okay, yeah. you get in the middle then. You got a shoe on, maybe some KY. All right, I'm in. Hey, he was talking about that stuff doesn't happen anymore, but I guess it does. The, the rock star lifestyle. He's talking about KY jelly and all of a sudden. Hey, all right. Uh, it's very heavily married. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> and I will not, I'll go no further than that. <laughs> all right, so again, say your name properly for people. Kurt Weinstein. There you go. All right. So we were just talking about the new album. What can you add to what you just told us? What can we look forward to with the new Crowbar 2019? 30 year anniversary, by the way. Congratulations, yes, my man. Much, man. Really. Sure. And oh, true. another thing I, I want to bring up with you guys Kingdom of Sorrow. Yes. That was badass. I really like that record. You know, Jimmy Justin, of course, doing Justice. If you hate breathing, when that came out, a buddy of mine turned me on to it because it just came out. I listened to it. I was like, oh, man. Bomb. I liked it a lot. Well, nothing's happening with that now. Not just so. Jamie co-manages us with his management, um, Steve Ross. So, of course, we're in constant contact, and we still do. You know, we do a lot of business together. As of right now, there's nothing going on with that. I mean, maybe before we all call it a day, one more record or something, you know, because I really enjoyed it. But nothing, that would be nothing. Cool. And as busy as he is, as busy as myself and we all are, there's... Right now, there's no time for that at all. What label are you guys on? Uh, we are on Entertainment One E One. Okay, because Jamie teamed up with uh, another good friend of mine, David Olson, on his EMP label. You guys looked into that at all? Are you happy where you're at? Oh, we're extremely happy. There you go. Our guys are if you got label support, you're good. No, they're great. Yeah, they they're fans well. of the band. They 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 go. It's great. They, awesome. They come out to the shows. You know, they buy us drinks. We, we hang out with them. We drink. We party. Rock, it's great. You got perks. So, yeah, they're, they're, and they're, they're, a, they're a legit major label at this point. Um, as much business as, as they're doing uh, with the bands that they have. So, we're, you know, for us, we're happy as can be, man. We won, so. we're that's be, very rare. You know, so we're yeah, very that's rare. the only band that. that got in the top 20 that allowed the 14 and 16 on E1 out of any all the metal bands that they have. Um, from Rolling Stone, period. So we may not be moving the units, but we we're opening the eyelids. So. Right, and this guy, wow. this guy is rocking a white T-shirt. By the way, so. I know oh, yeah, white T, white T. Oh, he's and now he got oh, this oh, camera oh, guy. Oh, awesome! Hey, flash the white T, man, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, white T. You gotta have the white T, man. That's the old school. What are they on there? Fortieth, forty fifth, forty eighth, right? Yeah, they're, coming to, they're coming to they're coming to town February tenth up here. Yeah, they, I mean, geez. They see, Manichetti's unbelievable. And yeah, it's he's great. He's the only original yeah. member now, yeah. But so, the only one left. if you have to have one, it would be him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, definitely, yeah. no offense to, to Leonard and the other guys, but yeah, yeah. yeah he was definitely the most, uh, he was wine team. Yeah, yeah. Much, yeah. Of yeah. course, yeah. everything. Well, so, I hope it's good. It's good because Leonard Hayes kicks some ass. Uh, oh, Mike is, Mike is really good. In fact, I think he was heavily influenced by Leonard. That's a good, good guy to be in. No, definitely, yeah, I'm definitely. Leonard Hayes. Is a, is a new thing. Oh, 
what was. He, he came up with something. I'm like, well, Leonard Hayes. Like, uh, I, 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 met, I met Leonard Hayes yeah. with Y&T opening for Twisted Sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was Dawkins. Y&T and and Twisted Sister. Oh, and I see Leonard walking around. Of course, I know who he is. I'm like, Leonard, Leonard. He's like, oh, hey, hey. He goes, oh, you know, he, he was in, like, flip-flops, warm-up pants, like a T-shirt with a gut out the yeah, end. Yeah, <laughs> muscle shirt. Yeah. He, he looked like, you know, just one of the, the, whatever, the drum tech or something instead of the drummer. You know, and I was like, I don't know, that, that's kind of my approach. I'm like, I don't give a shit what I look like. But guess what? I kick ass. And oh, my dude, God bless him. I never got to meet him. I got to hang out with Phil Kinnamore uh, out in Vegas. We saw a show at a casino. And then he and Mike and their wives at the time, we took off in a limo to go see uh, Steel Panther. And it was the funniest freaking limo ride between Mike and Phil. Those guys were so freaking funny. I laughed so hard. My stomach hurt. So God bless Phil Kinnamore up there rocking in rock and roll heaven. He was a cool freaking dude. But uh, again, Y&T, yeah, killer, killer band. And uh, I'm re- I was telling Matt, I'm really excited to see Crowbar tonight because I do not believe I've ever seen him, believe it or not. Mr. Yeah. Heavy Metal Headbanger guy, I've never seen Crowbar. So for, I drove up. I drove up from Tucson. To see you guys, and of course, Damn Corrosion. Sure. I mean, I've never seen you. I've seen Corrosion a couple times. So I was like, I gotta do it. Plus, uh, getting hooked up with Matt here and now you, so it makes it all yeah, worthwhile. Man, it's good. Absolutely, man. All right, Absolutely. anything else? Oh, social media and website. Go. Pimp it. Oh, I know it's Crowbar Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no website, but uh, yeah, the Crowbar Facebook, and then uh, the Crowbar Music, uh, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Tweet, twit. Yep. And what comes up for that? Can't see it. Never no. <laughs> see, I don't know yet. Shit, I, do. I, don't, I think I'm all fancy. Doing she Facebook. Knows. And that's where I stop Facebook. That's that's my age group. I'm done. That's, that's enough for me. I'm still stuck on MySpace. Well, no, I'm, 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 I'm a notch too above you on that. <laughs> I, I got to make the next step from MySpace. To I, I would Facebook. advise. Me. Yeah, definitely jumping up to at least Facebook. All right. Anything else you guys want to mention? Thanks uh, for all the support over this uh, 30th you know, anniversary. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Looking forward to kicking the fix in the um, Pass. regions tonight. In the, the, the nether regions. Yeah, it's going to be a great show and a uh, great tour. Just keep uh, keep on the lookout. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So all right, my eight. producer camera guy. You ready? Hey, hang on. Hang on. Don't put it yet. I'm Mike Gobby. Mike Gobby's headbangers. Hanging with Crowbar. We're out. Woo! <laughs>